Hello, it is Sunday, November 19th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday crossword today, which means we're going to be solving an extra large grid, as you can see, um, with a theme. And the theme is Thanksgiving meal prep, or at least that's the title of the puzzle. We'll see how it relates to the theme um, appropriate for the week of Thanksgiving. And um, this a holiday themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Kathleen Quinn, Quotidia File, Overfull Hitbox, and as always, the invaluable, uh, sorry, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They do, of course, sustain this channel, bring us this series. Very grateful to them for that ongoing support. It really does mean a lot to me and it keeps this all going. Thanks to them. Thanks to everybody who's a patron. If you'd like to consider becoming one yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find all of the bonus uh, solves available to patrons as well as the Let's Check the Crosses official mug for benefactors. So again, thanks to everybody who contributes. And thank you as well to everybody who subscribes to the channel, likes the videos, comments, those things are all very helpful as well. So thanks if you've done those. Consider doing so if you haven't. And finally, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server, a nice, friendly chat community that you can join via a description field link. So check that out. Consider it. All right, let's get on to the crossword, which, as we've observed, is entitled Thanksgiving Meal Prep. This is a construction by Rebecca Goldstein. Stein, who's responsible for about a dozen puzzles, and Rachel Fabby, who's responsible for about half a dozen, maybe. Um, so welcome back to them with this new collaboration. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Uh, as we say, it's entitled Thanksgiving Meal Prep. The Sunday puzzles uniquely are titled among the, among the daily puzzles. And let's start solving. See what's in store. It grows on trees. A leaf. Um, I don't know. Uh, blank tea. That could be lots of things, I would think. Dance featured in the documentary Kumuhina. That sounds sort of Polynesian. The words, I mean, I, so it could be a hula, maybe. Let's see if that, yeah, okay. The White Lotus Network um, is HBO. That was a great show. Um, let's just, let's try hula, see. Web address, yeah, web addresses are URLs, Uniform Resource Locators, web addresses. And stage name of Montero Lamar Hill. I honestly don't know. I'm, I, this is a complete stab, so it could be absolutely wrong. But just purely based on the L and the number of letters, I'm wondering if it's Lil Nas X. I have no, I don't actually know that. Um, so if that's embarrassingly wrong, I apologize. But let's look at the crosses and see, just in case. Um, ritual whose name uh, translates to covenant. Oh, it must be a bris. Okay, in Judaism. So actually, maybe this will, maybe this does work out. Oh, St. Francis of Assisi. Is it two S's first or two S's later in the word? I think it's this uh, with an S here. Stockpiled bread. Something rolls. Keep rolls. Um, uh, pack rolls. This will oh, be part of the Thanksgiving meal prep, I bet, because it's a question mark clue. Um, this is a, just sort of a common position in the grid for a first theme answer, and rolls could be could be served for Thanksgiving dinner. So I suspect this will be thematic, but I'm not yet sure what it is. Okay, if you're in a bit of a tizzy, you're maybe in a snit, a bit of a, a just a bit of a mood. Aids in planning are town plats, town maps. No, doesn't fit. Not sure. Since, as of, since yesterday, as of yesterday, G-men, uh, government men, the feds, the federal, you know, federal agents. Okay, here's another one of these. Selects green bean casserole, candied yams, and mashed potatoes. Oh, this isn't town because this will end with sides. I think these are side dishes associated with Thanksgiving. So there we go. Oh, chooses sides or picks sides. Right. I mean, that makes sense. So what is this one? Stockpile bread. Stockpile. I mean, what, what we're going to be finding here is an alternative meaning for role that isn't the food in the, in the same sense that here cho chooses sides is a phrase that has nothing to do with side dishes. But in the specific context of this punny clue, it means choose between 
food dishes, you know, food side dishes. So we want a general phrase that involves rolls here. Uh, the first half of which is a synonym of stockpile. I just can't think what it is. I'm sorry. We'll have to keep going. But um, sounds, uh, rim shots, which I've always found very odd that those are called rim shots because rim shot has a specific meaning in, in drumming where you use the stick, uh, you sort of strike the rim of the snare drum with the, with the stick in a particular way and it makes a particular sound. I've never known why the little little drum hit to emphasize a joke. I've never known why that's called a rim shot. But anyway, fighting sport for short, uh, mixed martial arts, I would think, MMA. Untold millennia could be uh, eons. There we go, spelled in this manner, sometimes without the A and often typeset with that A-E ligature combined. Uh, Loch Ness Monster apparently seems to be a hoax, I think, at this point, probably fair to say. Uh, and I think actually the history of the hoax is fairly well documented. Um, enter a bear market. Um, so a bear market is a is a is a financial term dealing with a stock market on the de you know uh, average on the decline. But I'm not sure that's what this means. Is it? I'm not uh, sag, as in the market is sagging. I'm not sure. Blast from the past, so to speak. And slices and dices, chops. Absolutely not. Hell no, heck no. Probably one of those two. A blast from the past, so to speak. Hmm. And then this is a chortled syllable. So <laughs> you could chortle, you could laugh. Goodness. Oh dear, or something like that. I don't know. Um, and kilt folds, so uh, right folds in kilts. The the garment are pleats, little folds in various articles of clothing. Absolutely not. Okay, here we go. Hell no. Blast from the past, so to speak. An old. Um. Not sure, but that might help. This this yes, it does. Goodness is oh dear, and if one gets caught, some or something gets caught on a nail, for instance, it snags. Here we have part of a rock band. So you could have a, a band of rock in, the, in a geological sense, a band of ore that you could find maybe in mine out of the ground. Pro tip about seasoning stuffing. Right, here's one of these. So sage is a common, a common um, herb used in uh, making stuffing, which is quite possibly my favorite Thanksgiving dish, the stuffing. I really, really, really like it. Blast from the past, so to speak. An old song, I guess. Okay. Straightforward enough. And then to enter a bear market is to sag. Okay, so this, you could say the stock market is entering a, a bear phase. It's sagging, I guess you could say. Okay, and I just realized this little 4x4 four four, uh, box up here, we've gotten all the help we're going to get from any intersecting crosses, so we may as well solve it. Uh, 1988 Beach Boys hit with a geographical title. Oh, Kokomo? Is that with two Ks? I think that looks right. It grows on tree. Oh, bark. It's not a leaf. It's bark. There we go. Because of the K. So blank T. Not sure. Home to Dublin and Toledo. Is is there a Dublin, Ohio? There, there must be based on this clue. Outer layer of fruit, for instance, could be its rind. There we go. And exclamations of enlightenment. Ahas, plural, because it says exclamations. Oh, bank bank rolls. Right. Okay, there we go. So I see you've banked the rolls. You've banked them in the sense that you've set them aside. You've put them somewhere safe. But also bank roll is a phrase meaning to fund something. So it's, an, you know, it's its, it's its own unrelated phrase, but we've used it to answer this punny clue. All right. Oh, and here we have boba tea. Right. Kind of milk tea with um, uh, tapioca balls. Okay. Oh, Oops, spelled that wrong. Bobo is not correct. And ditto is as do I. You could say ditto to, to echo somebody's sentiments. Okay, so if then else is programming trio. So that's a, that's a sort of logical structure in programming where you say, if this con condition is true, do this. Else, otherwise, do this other thing that I've specified. Fruit in the custard apple family. I don't think I know what a custard apple is. So 
Letter before Q. Oh, is it? It's phon- letters phonetically spelled from the alphabet. So P, Q, spelled out. Uh, Landmark Health Legislation for short, the ACA, the Affordable Care Act. Okay, certain recyclable in the Midwest is in the Midwest specifically. Interesting. Oh, I, you know what I bet this is? I bet it's a it's a soda can, which is what I would call it, but it'll be something like a pop can and a pop because I think soda is often or at least more often referred to as pop in the Midwest than in other parts of the United States. Um, or then some, some other parts of the United States anyway. But I'm not sure what the rest of it would be. I bet that'll be the beginning. Um, what would what would a can or a tin be called? I don't know. I, I, I bet this part's right, though. So fruit in the custard apple. Fa- oh, well, a pawpaw is a fruit? I haven't a clue if it's a custard apple, but maybe. Tendril, a wire? Oh, maybe, because common lab culture could be E. coli, so culture in a laboratory, bacteria, and then tendril, maybe it's a wire, branch, br- sorry, brand, aptly found in natural pooch food, Alpo, all right, okay, there we go, I wonder if that's coincidental or, or intentional, probably coincidental, but there you go, we can see we spell Alpo out inside of natural pooch. Okay, so there it is, and research hors d'oeuvres online. So hors d'oeuvres, I bet that's going to be the apps bit at the end of this because um, those could be appetizers, you know, small little bites. So uh, f- phone apps or, or Google uh, Google apps, I bet that's what it is. So you're researching them, you're Googling them, you're searching for information online. And Google apps is the name of a suite of online software. Okay, so the pop has been confirmed. Tendril, oh, it wasn't why. A wisp, I see, as in a wisp of smoke, a tendril of smoke. That is exactly right. Catchy tune in slang, a bop, as they say these days. And, oh, oh, a pop bottle. I was on the wrong track entirely. We weren't looking for anything uh, metal. We were looking for a glass bottle of pop. There we go. So that, that bit had nothing to do with regional terminology. Okay, official language of Guyana. Uh, English, I suppose, so not French Guiana, where the official language would be uh, would be French. Um, there we go. Land through which the Mekong River flows, Laos. There we go. That's certainly the case. To go bad would be to sour, no, to spoil, as in food going bad. There we go. Quarterbacks. So this is not referring to the position, the NFL position, quarterback, which would be a single word and probably wouldn't have a question mark at the end. This means, I think, the back of a quarter, the coin, is probably what this means. Edge something? No. Locale for many cabs. Oh, right. Okay, so this is referring to cabs, wines, cabernets. So Napa Valley is a famous wine-growing region in California. So perhaps many cabernets or cabernet grapes are grown there. So quarter, oh, eagles on the back of a quarter. Okay, there we have it. And a rural tower could be a silo, so a grain silo in a rural area, farm, farmland sort of area. And then Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love. This is a sort of a long kind of jam song by Led Zeppelin. And then time to head out. Let's go, you could say. Buffalo NHLers are the Buffalo, do I know this? Um, I don't know that I do. Saints? I'm not sure. It sounds like a team and it fits, but I don't know if it's the answer. What a ghost might do to you. Not sure. Work on one's whisking technique. Okay, this will be this will be related to this will be something about whipping cream, presumably. Uh, and and it'll be in one of these Thanksgiving clues, but I'm not or answers, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, Clinton and Obama, astrologically. Oh, I haven't a clue. I don't have any idea what their star sign is. Uh, Leo's maybe because of the, it's three letters. Uh, are there any others that fit in three letters? Probably, but I, I don't remember them all. Oh, no, maybe it is that. Actually, I think because that L allows this to be startling. Ghost might startle you. That, that fits. So approximate could be 
estimated, an estimated figure, an approximate figure, abbreviated because the clue itself is abbreviated. And if one, it's something, oh, if you're, if trouble eases, it abates, it lessens, it wanes or declines. So, okay, the, the buffalo and the dillards are not the saints. They're the buffalo sabers. Boy, that actually doesn't ring any bells for me at all. Setting in nomad land. Setting in nomad land. A lot of some sort. Amazon was an employer in that film. Hmm, let's see. What, what is that? I'm not sure. Work on one's whisking technique. Grab a... F I'm not sure. Something cream at the end, I would think. Oops. Cease on the seas. Avast. Grab. I don't know. Grasp. Not sure about this whole area. Let's see. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. There we go. I mean, that Thanksgiving Day isn't e easy enough to infer, even if you're not familiar with the parade. Uh, backed up, you saved something, a file on your computer, maybe. And Chuck Taylor All-Star, e.g. That's a sneaker. A sort of classic, distinctive um, sneaker. Okay, love lines. I do's, uh, sort of wedding vows. And then tournament ranking. Oh, oh no, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword, the ode. Uh, love lines in the sense of lines of poetry dedicated to an object of adoration. So tournament ranking could be the seed, which is what caused me to rethink my answer here. Very good. Full House Twins. Oh, the Olsons, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olson. There we go. Aids in planning. Oh, to-do list, right? Okay, right. I, my, th my thinking originally was town planning, urban planning. Uh, nope, not at all. To-do lists, planning your day. Alex's partner in the jewelry industry. Oh, okay, this will be a brand. I don't know. Alex and somebody or the other way around. Length of some fun runs informally. 1K, one kilometer maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know this still. Sanctify, to bless something would be to sanctify it, to kind of religiously, I don't know, endorse it. Debate roasting versus deep frying. To debate roasting versus deep frying. Something about a turkey. Um, talk, oh, to talk turkey. So to talk turkey is a, is a phrase that means to sort of get down to brass tacks. But here you're talking about the preparation. Deep frying turkey is actually an amazing preparation. I've never done it myself. It is so complicated and risky because of the enormous quantity of boiling oil you need or hot oil you need. But, um, uh, but I, I used to go to a friend's house every year who did it, who, who roasted a turkey or deep fried a turkey. And it is phenomenal. It's very different to roast chicken because it's not, um, it's not breaded in that same way, but it's just a great preparation. Anyway, having an even score, all, um, not all even, all, all tied up, all, here we have Alex's partner in the jewelry, jewelry industry is Annie. I just have to assume that's correct. I don't, I don't know any better. Uh, seems fine to me. Um, because I think all is probably correct. Hairstyle that Brits call fringe. Right, so yes. Here in the UK, bangs uh, are referred to as fringe. That is just the terminology is you don't really hear people say bangs. There aren't enough words. Uh, okay, I guess that's just it. Is that a common phrase? There aren't enough words. I've heard that there are no words to mean, I don't even know how to respond to that, but I don't know that I've heard this exact construction, but that's fine. Start of some countdowns. They very frequently start from 10 and count down to zero. German candy with a caramel center. German candy. Do I know that? I'm not sure. Pro tip about seasoning stuff, stuffing. Right. Yeah. We still think it starts with sage. In fact, it's pretty confirmed now. Sage... Advi a sage advice, of course, of course, of course. And that is a, a common phrase, sage in, this, in that case, meaning wise advice. But if, in this case, we're giving, uh, we're giving recommendations about the herb. There we go. Okay, breaking up something in, ending it. You're ending a relationship. You're ending it. You're breaking up. Having an even score. Oh, it is all tied. Okay, we're all tied. We're, yeah, that's fair, I guess. Um, 
Twas the Night Before Christmas begins the famous poem of a different holiday, and then Sicilian Stratovolcano, Mount Etna. There we have it. Martin of Hollywood. Steve Martin is an actor and comedian. And, oh, oh, I do recognize this German candy name, but I can't I can't think what it is. But now there's R-I-E in there. This re something is familiar looking. What about this? Thursday plus three. Sunday, I guess, three days after Thursday. Developing, uh, so developing idea could be a nascent idea, sort of something that's germinating and starting to flower in your mind. Things behind the times. News, um, things behind the times. News, I'm not sure what the behind is doing exactly just yet, uh, but I assume it's referring to the Times newspaper. Uh, foolish, if something foolish is unwise. Oh, r reason? Ah, oh, it's less familiar than I thought it was. What did I think? What did I think was familiar to me? I think this is the answer. Fame. Renown. Yeah, it is the answer. Okay. Uh, once I saw it, I was let down by, by my, my only mild rather than strong recognition. Philanthropist Pratt, for whom the Baltimore, Baltimore Public Library System is named. Oh, I don't know. It looks like Enoch, probably, in five letters with the E-N-O. Um, I can't think of any other names that would fit there, but let's just check and see. Heads of organizational charts, head of org charts. CEOs that would be at the top of an org chart of a company. I think that's probably fair to say. Pluck, if you... Well, this could be you, you've you got pluck in the sense that you have, you know, moxie or verve or something, but it could also mean pluck to sort of pick something. Oh, to yes, it is that. It's tweeze. You know, you could you could pluck an eyelash or something, tweeze or whatever, you know, something like that. Um, an eyebrow is more what I said, eyelash. Oof. Ugh. Uh, for real in modern parlance, no lie. I, oh no, is it no cap? I've seen this before. <laughs> I've seen this as of about five minutes ago. I'm amazed by how quickly um, the internet has enabled slang, new slang terms to spread. Um I think I think it is no cap. Let's see. Shiny silver sticker. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Because an ape is a fencing sword. Um, and it's you, I mean, you could literally stick something or someone with it. I mean, you probably wouldn't actually literally stick them, but I think that's the point of the clue. Lucid. Um, something lucid is, you know, uh, clear and vibrant and... Um, Safe? Not really. Lucid. Can't quite think of a synonym that fits here. Let's look at this. It ends when 1-1 one, one begins. New Year's Eve ends when the 1st of January begins, I would think. Off the, something off the wall is, is zany. It's, it's bananas. And, oh, lucid is sane. Yes, okay, you're, you're in a lucid state of mind. You're sane. Cran make cranberry sauce from scratch. Right. Something that can not from the can or... Uh, skip the can, or I'm not sure. So the, the the idea is obviously you make cranberry sauce yourself rather than rather than buying it made in a can. But I'm not sure what the phrase we're looking for is. So things behind the times are news reels. That doesn't make any sense. News. I don't know. Newsrooms. Ah, right. Those the newsrooms are behind and behind in the sense of responsible for the editing and publication of the times. Okay, there we go. Some sex cells are, I was going to say ovo, but that's, that's singular, not plural. Just thinking of cells involved in, in, in reproductive function. Um, yeah, that would have to, I really want that to be ova. In three letters, it's hard to imagine what else it would be, actually. Is there a different things behind the times? News? Rates news. Let's just try this and see if I can if I can get other things that metaphor for a migraine. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. Go ahead. Oh, the go ahead could be the okay. Oh, kick the can. Right. Okay. So kick the can is a phrase meaning to procrastinate um, or to foist something off on somebody else. Uh, but of course, you're in this case you're kicking the can. You're saying no. Forget that. I'm going to do it myself. So Ryan Gosling's role in Barbie is, of course, Ken. There we go. Common factor is a two. 
in the sense that two is a factor of many numbers. In other words, it evenly, you know, many, many numbers are multiples of two. I think that might be the answer. It's a common, it, mathematically, it is, it is a common factor. It's the most common factor other than one, I suppose. Uh, kind of question. Yes, no question. Yep, straightforward. Metaphor for a migra. Oh, a vise, as in it feels like someone's put your head in a vise and is tightening it, cram you know, sort of cramping it. On a bias would be askew. News racks. Oh, oh, okay. Things physically, literally behind the issue of the New York Times on newsstand would be the news racks. Like, wow, okay, I was not at all in that in that place. Okay. City on the Kenai Peninsula. Oh, what is this? I'm not sure offhand. Oh, that's a shame. Unspecified amount in a recipe, just a dash of salt, say. Arthur of tennis, Arthur Ashe was a, was a famous tennis player, uh, steers the dessert cart. Something pies, I bet it'll be. That's pies usually served as a Thanksgiving dessert. Not sure. Cupid's counterpart, right. So Eros would be the Roman counterpart of, of Cupid, mythologically. Captain Marvel, e.g., a superhero. Is it as simple as that? I think it is. It fits. Even I can answer that. Uh, word with bump or trap, a uh, speed bump or speed trap. Peru, uh, peru, peruse would be to sort of read. Oh, oh, no, it's just read. I was thinking of just kind of browse through something. But no, in this case, it means to literally read maybe a issue of the times that came off the news racks. And uh, where were we? I've just lost my place. Entrance is what? Not sure. And part of some pods, okra, maybe? Pods of okra? Entrance, I don't know. Measure of acidity. Oh, a, um, well, I was going to say pH test, but that doesn't fit in here, does it? Oh, measure rur. Oh, no, no, I already knew that. Measure of acidity, right? Yeah, what is it? Some sort of test? Or, oh, a pH strip. That's what it is. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, the pH strip used in the pH test. Okay, so th this in the sense of acidity versus baseness of a substance. Um, so small game often could be a small game that you play, or it could be a small game animal. Um, not sure what. Rage could be ire, maybe anger. Let me join. I'm up to it. No, I'm, I, I don't know. I, I want in. That, that could be right. Pitcher. Oh yeah, pitcher, ewers. So pitchers in the sense of jugs from which you pour water. Those could be called ewers as well. So there we go. Small game often, um, prep or pre, I don't know. Inventor Gray, who had a patent war with Alexander Graham Bell, right. I mean, I know about this with respect to the uh, telephone, but I'm not sure I remember this person's name. I don't think I do. Edward, maybe. Work on one's whisking technique. Right, okay, it doesn't have cream. What would you be whisking? Flour then, maybe? or gra Oh, gra it is gravy, maybe. Gravy train. That's what it is, because you could whisk uh, flour, maybe, into the gravy, perhaps. And uh, so you're training yourself to make gravy. That's very good. And then gravy train, of course, is a phrase, meaning uh, sort of a job or a lifestyle that is uh, lucrative and easy. Okay, so setting in nomad... Oh, oh, it's an RV lot. It's it's a it's a sort of camper um lot, a mobile home lot. There we go. Okay, recreational vehicle RV. All right, there we go. Finally figured that out. Buffalo NHLers. Oh, right, they are the Sabres, right? I think I inferred that before, but didn't ever put it in. And then features of a vacant stare are dead eyes. Yep, okay. Straightforward enough. I don't think I read that clearly before. A groove, you could be in a groove in a in a rut. Well, you wouldn't say you're in a groove and you're in a rut because those respectively have positive and negative correlations. Um, but a record could have a rut or a groove. Physically, they're, they're the same thing, even though metaphorically they're not, which is kind of funny. Home to 
Fa'a International Airport. Tahiti, I bet. I'm slightly guessing there, but let's look at the crosses. Former Florida Flyer. Is it a bird that is extinct, or is it an aircraft that is obsolete? Or, in Florida, it could be a spacecraft, I guess. Um, the space shuttle or something? I'm not sure. Um, oh, oh. Alicia Gray? Is this, is this it? That sort of looks familiar to me, actually. Parsonage. A, a manor. So where the parson lives, you know, a, a, a sort or like a vicar's home, that kind of thing. Um, some nail biters for short. Oh no, maybe it's a manse. I bet it is a manse. Same, same idea. Um, it's more, more specifically religious, religiously associated than a manor though. So I should have guessed that first. Some nail biters for short. Uh, although I still don't see what this is. Open as a drain. Unstop, unstop a drain. There we go. You take the stopper out. Oh, oh, it's a, it's an air, it's a, a former airliner, a former um, uh, airline. So that's what I meant to say. Pan Am, Pan American Airlines. There we go. So were they based in Florida? I actually didn't know that if so. Toddler's time out. Play, toddler's time out. Oh, a play date. All right. Because it's not time out in the sense of a disciplinary measure. And it's not even what I was thinking next, which was time out, meaning you're out, you're sleeping. It's out as in out of the house. It's a sort of, it's a date. It's a day out, a play date. Oh, shepherd's pie steers the dessert cart. Right, there we go. Okay, well, I don't think of shepherd's pie as being associated with Thanksgiving, but maybe some people have it for Thanksgiving. But regardless, it's a delicious dish that I enjoy. And uh, to steer something could be to shepherd it. So if one steers the dessert cart, one shepherd's pie. Oh, right, no, of course, shepherd's pie. The, the, the total phrase doesn't have anything to do with Thanksgiving at all. It's just a phrase, right? Sorry, I forgot how this worked, even though I had already explained it. Uh, yes. The, the pie bit is the Thanksgiving part, just the pie unto itself. And then shepherd's pie is the unrelated phrase, and it answers the clue in a punny way. Okay, I've caught myself back up. To put something in a hold is to um, put in a hold. I don't know. Grabbed a chair. You sat. You grabbed a chair. Put in a hold. To November birthstone. A topaz? Ardor is zeal. Entrance is part of some pods. Or it's not okra. It's uh... oh no. What is it? Part of some pods. I'm not sure. Reserve the Chardonnay for later. Okay, something wine. Um. I don't know. I can't. Why, how do I not think what, the, think what that is? I, I don't know. I somehow don't. Put in a hold. Oh, you stowed luggage, for instance. You put it in the hold of an aircraft, say, or a ship. Uh, winter candle scent is could be pine. And actor actress Taylor Joy of the Queen's Gambit, Anya Taylor Joy. What's the lead in that? And then noted Celtic musician Enya. There we go, the singer. And blank, blank question mark. Same word, exclamation point. Deal, deal. There we go. It could be a quick conversation between two people, and that answers Anya as well, or Anya probably. Uh, bid first, say you open the bidding. I would think, um, in either an auction or a gambling match. Entrance, a portico? No, a. How do I not see what this is? Actress Jessica. Jessica Beale is 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 an actress. So there we go. Boyo. Oh no, maybe not. Boyo. Maybe this is wrong. No, that P there. Jessica. I'm not sure what we're looking for here. Inspiration for the tribute bands. Band A Star Teens. I have no idea. Never heard of that. Uh, let's see. Okay, what do we do? Part of some pods. Wow, I've just completely fallen apart at the end here. Reserve the Chardonnay for later.
to reserve something for later would be to... I can't believe I'm not thinking of any of these things. Who are some other Jessicas? Actress Jessica. And then entrance. Portal? Nothing I'm thinking of works with the other things I have. Bid first, say. Lead? Is this not a pH strip? Maybe it's not. Maybe that's been wrong the whole time. I don't... Oh, that could be Portal then, actually. Jessica Alba. That's somebody, right? That sounds familiar. Inspiration for the... Oh, ABBA. A, it must be A-teens. ABBA teens, I guess. That must be a teenage ABBA tribute band, I guess. I'd, part of some pods. Oh, table, table wine. Right. So in U.S. English, to table something means to sort of delay it for later. It's, it's, it's almost the opposite of what it means in, in British English. But regardless... I think that's what it means here. To reserve the, the wine for later will be to table the wine. But table wine is a phrase unto itself. And it's kind of just the, the you know, it's the kind of house wine sort of thing. Um, okay, so pH scale is the measure of acidity. There we go. Wow, that strip really threw me off for quite a long time. And here we have an orca, which is a part of some pods, a pod of orcas, the collective uh, noun. There we go. Or the, or the sort of, you know, social group. So that's it. Wow, that really, I really tripped myself up at the end there with that pH strip. That did not do me any favors whatsoever. Glad I finally decided to delete it. In fact, I think I've needed to do that now three days running this week. I think the last three puzzles, including this one, I've had something in the grid that I've had to eventually, that, that was in there for quite a while, that I even had some crosses uh, booked against it that I then had to finally reassess and delete. So I suppose, uh, I hope, I don't know, hopefully the experiences are instructive or useful to other people um, watching, seeing that, because it's really hard to, I find it hard to um, get myself to do it because once you put something in the grid, it, it just starts to feel like it's correct and real. But of course, you know, it could absolutely be wrong. But there we go. That was Thanksgiving meal prep by Rebecca Goldstein and Rachel Fabby. So let's just quickly look at our, our phrases here. We've got to stockpile bread is to bank rolls. Um, to select these various dishes would be, if one selects them, one chooses sides. Maybe look at them here so I don't miss any. I already did. Yeah, okay. So to research hors d'oeuvres online is to Google apps. Uh, what else do we have? No. Right. If one steers the dessert cart, one shepherd's pie. That one's very clever. I like that. To make cranberry sauce from scratch is to kick the can. To reserve the Chardonnay for later is to table wine. And I think we had some in the uh, in the downs, didn't we? Two, maybe? Yes, we did. Uh, pro tip about seasoning stuffing would be sage advice. Um, which is, I like that one because you certainly could also get sage advice about sage. Uh, I mean, I, you know, it's very... Very valid. Stuffing is something that can be made poorly. So sage advice would not go amiss. Oh, and I missed one over here. Would be to work on one's whisking technique. Would be to gravy train. To gravy train up. There we go. All right. Very good. Um, hopefully many of you will be using these. <laughs> we'll have good cause to use some of these phrases later this week. Uh, and I wish you all the best in your Thanksgiving meal prep in the coming days. Uh, if, if, you, uh, if indeed you celebrate that that holiday. And that is that for today's puzzle, for today's solve. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. I'll be back, of course, tomorrow with the much smaller grid, much simpler puzzle, but still themed Monday crossword. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm -hmm.